let us come back and prepare aldehydes and ketones from alkyne okay let us see how are we going to prepare now basically whenever you see an alkyne right anything let, let us let me uh, speak about the basic ethyne or uh, your uh, butyne or any any alkyne uh, with triple bond right you will be very careful how are you going to do the reaction yes let us see let us start with an unsymmetrical alkyne first what am i going to do i'm going to take an unsymmetrical alkyne okay unsymmetrical alkyne suppose if i take means one two three what is this alkyne now it is propyne isn't it propyne correct now see h3 now this is your h now this is all different now when i take this propyne i have to prepare an aldehyde isn't it remember carefully whenever you have to prepare an aldehyde or you have to prepare a ketone first most important thing is you have to break this bond correct to break that bond in alkyne you have to add a stronger acid like dilute sulfuric acid okay in the presence of mercuric sulfate what is this what is the role of this these two are this is an hydrating agent both are uh, hydrating agents hydrating agents means what do they do they're going to add water around this one they're going to break this bond and add water what do you do you are going to add as i said hydrating agent just add water to this correct yes this bond is going to break up that triple bond the last pi bond yeah this breaks up h plus and oh minus and now what happens it's an unsymmetrical alkene isn't it now your oh goes and attacks to this carbon and your h comes and attacks to this how does this look now yes to ch3 yeah <coughs> c your oh now still the double bond is existing double bond c your h is here and one more h is coming and adding here this becomes ch2 now this is very unstable compound this is called now what is this compound <coughs> this is prop isn't it which prop is it one propene okay yes and it is two all one propene and two all this is all isn't it that it is this compound is called enol what is this compound enol okay very unstable compound so what happens this unstable compound further undergoes or it gets converted to a stable compound called keto or ketone how does it undergo just observe <laughs> carefully this oh group yeah it gets rearranges right? this is what we call as keto enol tautomerism this here there's a rearrangement here this oh is going to shift here breaking this bond or this bond should say double bond how do how do we get now i'm going to get ch3 your carbon yeah double bond co and this becomes your ch3 now this has become what now this this has become ketone isn't it now <coughs> ketone <coughs> proponone correct so ketone or it is proponone so now what happened this particular thing this is called enol this is called ketonic group that is the reason this is an interconvertible uh, reaction where we say this is unstable and this is a stable form and this type of tautomerism where your H is shifting to this and it's going to form a ketone is called keto enol keto enol tautomerism remember that the conversion of the enol group to the keto stable keto group is called keto enol tautomerism yes this is how we are going to convert propyne to keto simple isn't it first take propyne add a hydrating agent that's going to add water and in the presence of this it's an unsymmetrical alkene negative addendum adds to this carbon having less number of hydrogens you are going to add after this the compound form is called enol correct unstable you want to rearrange that and because it's showing keto it has to form a stable keto product and this h is going to shift here and then this bond breaks and this going to, this oxygen uh, then forms an oxygen bond now this compound is called ketone that's why it is called keto enol tautomerism and this is how you're preparing ketone now i have to prepare aldehyde isn't it now let us prepare aldehyde so what am i going to take now i'm going to take an symmetrical alkyne now here it is unsymmetrical here i prepared and now i'm going to take symmetrical alkyne when i take symmetrical alkyne for example the basic alkyne ethyne right h and h ethyne now i have to add water 
in the presence of dilute sulfuric acid hydrating agent HgSO4. Like what do I get? Now this is symmetrical alkane. It directly adds. Yeah, you can just add no, no order, right? Both are symmetrical. H goes and adds here. O H comes and adds here. What do you get? C H here hydrogen. Now it has become double bond. Now this becomes C H O H, isn't it? One, two, three, four. Correct. Now this is again unstable, right? This is going to rearrange. Yeah. <coughs> what do you get now? This H is going to shift here. This becomes C H three. Yes or no? This is going to shift here, isn't it? Breaking this. This becomes C H three, and the leftover is C H O. Acetaldehyde. Yes. One hydrogen bond broken, so the leftover this is this becomes CH3 with this hydrogen, and the leftover is CHO. Yes. Now again, this is how you prepare: eta into acetaldehyde, propyne to ketone.